In the game, you need to have enough action for a mastery of mechanics so you could connect with the characters. <laughs> with the show, every action sequence, our approach was how do we make it character driven? Something needs to happen with the characters. It can't be purely about spectacle. We would appreciate the action moments more if they were each unique, separate and apart from each other, each one of them impacting the story directly in a very clear way with the show where we had to do things differently than the game is games have healing mechanics and healing doesn't work quite that way on, on television. It's just we can't crouch, bandage, and be fine. So violence has a different impact. Smaller bits of violence do a lot more damage and the damage lasts much, much longer or permanently. When we started working on the game, I remember we would have these conversations about what, well, what's the antagonist in the story? How do we differentiate ourselves from zombies? Because there have been a lot of zombie movies, a lot of zombie games. So we had so much concept art. Young Nam, one of our concept artists, eventually they took these like kind of fungal growths, these photographs of them, and this person that was kind of slumped against a wall and bashed them together. And I was like, oh, there's something there it would grow into your brain and split your head open. That's eventually we got the look of the clicker. I believe the first introduction to a clicker is one that's right up in your face. We do that on purpose. It's a jump scare that works because we do everything we can. We make it we want to be as moody as possible. We've got the flashlight right up in its face when it attacks and it feels violent. It feels frightening. My own way of kind of thinking about whenever I was animating uh, a clicker is that these are alive human beings that have something kind of pulling their strings. They, they move in the right direction, but it's almost like something's pulling them in that, in that direction. We tried to be true to the idea and the concept of the, the cordyceps, and we tried to make sense out of the evolution of each of the enemy classes that we have. And in fact, uh, we started out with designing the clickers the clicker bloom was a, definitely an aha moment. It was sort of like mushroomy. It would create volume into the space and look more like foliage. There is this freshness to watching the HBO show. We shared a lot of the concept art from the original game and they actually used a lot of it very faithfully. The infected were uh, needing to have an emotional impact. As the infection basically grew stronger, they lost their sight. Like gauge distance of this echolocation. He hired the actor, Misty Lee. She did this back of the throat, kind of like dolphin sound. We stopped her and we were like, can you keep doing that? How long can you do that? Once Misty did her thing, then we had to figure out what we were going to do for a male clicker. And for whatever reason, I found out that I could do the same sound. Uh, I think I surprised myself. We treated these sounds like dialogue of a character. How do we get uh, through those stages of, you know, unaware to aware to uh, searching to attacking and then, of course, dying? For an action sequence, we would n almost never put that in a cutscene in the game because we'd be like, oh, I want to play that. Those are the parts we want to give the control to the player and say, deal with the situation. With the show, it was a lot about restraint to often in, when something is horrific like this, it's scarier when you don't see it. So let's hold off and not show it for as long as possible. And then when we do show it, let's make sure it's kind of in a setting where the characters don't get like a clear eye line to it, or when we see it, it's very fast, very quick. We're gonna see a glimpse of them, or you're gonna see them a reflection in the glass. And it's scarier, especially in that medium, to see the fear in the character's eyes. So a lot of the direction, as far as where you put the camera, is let's show the character's fear as much as possible, even more so than the thing that's chasing them. There's a huge audience with HBO. 
uh, that you know millions, millions, millions more are going to be able to experience this. And I think being able to be a part of something that has the legs that The Last of Us has and this type of character, it's it's really humbling. It's it's something that I would never have expected.